Hey, I'm Matt from MasterSketchup.com and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the new weld feature that was just released in SketchUp Pro 2020.2. So in SketchUp Pro 2020.2, we now have the ability to weld edges. So what exactly does this mean? Well, as you probably know, everything in SketchUp is either an edge or a face. But there are a few special entity types that allow you to work with a set of connected edges as if they were a single entity. So for example, when you create a circle, if you look closely, you'll notice that the circle is actually made up of a bunch of straight edges. But if you click on one of those edges, the entire ring becomes selected. So SketchUp actually recognizes this as a circle entity. And what this allows you to do is have some control over some of the parameters. So for instance, I could type in 12 here, and the circle will be redrawn with 12 segments. Or if I want, I could change the radius to five inches and the circle will be redrawn to five inches. Now a similar thing will happen with the arc tool. So when you create an arc, SketchUp recognizes it as an arc entity and the freehand tool will create an entity called a curve. So you can just select one of those edges and the entire curve will become selected and you can see in the entity info panel, um, SketchUp recognizes it as a curve. Now with all three of these entity types, you can right click on any one of them and select explode. And what that'll do is it'll disregard that special entity type and will bring things back to its basic edges. So with this selected, you can see it's, it's recognizing it as 35 individual edges. And when we click on um, an edge segment, only that individual edge is selected. Now we can do the same thing for arcs as well as circles. And it explodes that special entity type into its basic edges. Now with this new weld feature, you can grab a selection of a connected set of edges and right click and choose weld edges. And what that'll do is it'll convert it um, into a curve entity type, which is the type of entity that's produced when you use the freehand tool. If I selected all the edges of the circle and right clicked and selected weld edges, it'll convert it back uh, into a curve. It's not gonna convert it back into a circle um, or an arc, if I did the arc over here, but it'll convert it into a curve. All right, so why would you wanna do this? Let's go ahead and look at four different ways you might find curves to be beneficial. Well, the first thing, as you saw, curves can be selected with a single click. So let me make a copy of this and explode it. And we can see the difference here when you have an exploded set of edges. Um, in order to select all of them, you would need to triple click to select all of them or maybe drag a selection box. With a curve, it's just a single click and it selects the entire curve. Now, the second characteristic of curves is how they display extruded edges. So let's take a look at a circle and I will make a copy of that over here and we'll go ahead and explode both of these. So we just have individual edges and on one of these, I'm gonna go ahead and weld the edges. So now we have one that has individual edges and now we have one that has um, a curve. Now watch what happens when I use the uh, push-pull tool. When I extrude this one up, we see all of those hard edges, but when I extrude the curve, all of those edges are softened and smoothed. Now, if you're not too familiar with how softened and smooth edges work, basically everything in SketchUp is, is a straight edge. 
um, there actually are no curved surfaces. So if we turn on hidden geometry for a moment, we can see that there are actually edges here, but we just have these two options enabled on these edges. And what that does is it just kind of provides an illusion. It'll hide the edge itself and then it'll soften the shading between these faces um, in order to give the illusion of a curved surface. Now the third place curves are really handy is with the follow me tool. So if we look at this example, I have several edges and a curve here that um, it, they're all disconnected. Now, if I use the follow me tool on this path, all of the points where the path changes direction will have these hard edges. Now, if instead I uh, weld those edges first and then use the follow me tool, you can see that we have uh, perfectly softened and smoothed edges even at those angles where the path changes direction. Now this also works on the profile itself. So if you've ever had a situation where a profile has exploded edges like this, if we use the follow me tool on this profile, you'll see all of these hard edges along the face. But if we um, simply welded these edges first and then use the follow me tool, we can have th uh, those nice soft edges. Now in this case, um, keep in mind, you don't actually have to uh, weld the entire profile. So we can just, so let me explode these again. And we can say that we want, you know, these curves to be welded together, but we want the rest of the profile to have hard edges. So using the follow me tool now, we have those nice uh, hard edges at those sharp corners, but those soft edges on those curves. Now keep in mind, this is not the only way to soften and smooth edges. You can always grab the uh, eraser tool and hold down, if you look down here, if you hold down shift, it'll hide the edge. If you hold down control, it'll soften and smooth the edge. So shift and then click and drag and that hides the edge, but it won't smooth the, uh, the faces between uh, the edge or on each side of the edge. But if I undo that and then hold control with the eraser tool, you can see it softens and smooths the edge. So that just kind of graduates the shading um, of each face between or on each side of that edge and kind of gives a softer look. So typically with sharp angles, you would want to just hide the edge. So you maintain that sharp look, um, but with smooth uh, gradual changes, um, you'll want to use soften and smooth. And of course, um, you can always create a selection of um, a set of edges and then grab the soften edges panel and then just drag uh, the slider to edit the soften and the, the smoothness of you know multiple edges all at once. So you don't have to weld edges for the sole purpose of you know softening and smoothing. And the fourth and final tip I wanna share with you about welding edges is being able to extract a length measurement of a path. So when you have individual edges, um, it will actually add up the length of each edge as you go along and tell you the total length of uh, those edges, even if they're not you know um, projecting along one single axis. Now, when you weld the edges, um, you have that same feature. So when you just click on one curve, um, it'll tell you the total length of that curve from the start point along the path to the end point. So that can be kind of handy. But unfortunately, uh, we're not able to extract that information in something like Generate Report, which is kind of a bummer, but um, it's still kind of handy to be able to 
you know, look at that length and know what the length of a curve is. All right, if you want to learn about the additional new features in SketchUp Pro 2020.2, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification because I'm going to be publishing additional videos talking about the new linear inference toggle for the line tool, as well as the line style overrides in layout. So you definitely don't want to miss that. All right, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.